Hi all, I'm going to show you how to properly annotate a text while we are in GetWise Wednesday. So let me just make sure that I'm drawing and marking things up. Okay, so the first thing that we should do is identify the genre and the topic of our reading. Long hours of video game playing might not be so bad. So I'm going to encircle this, circle your title. And determine is this what type of genre is this mm, well I would say that it is nonfiction and I'll put NF sorry you can't see but you'll see shortly and I would also say that uh, it is like an informational text whatever we are doing on our paper you are doing the same thing on yours so I expect you to circle the title identify that it is a non-fiction and informational text. Also, what do you think the topic is going to be about? Hmm, long hours of video game playing might not be so bad. That kind of sounds like uh, it's about video games and how they can be beneficial. So video games being beneficial. All right, I'll put that as my topic. Or maybe you can also say the benefit of video games. That would also fly. Cool. So I'm reading the lower school version. So expectation is that if you were in seventh and eighth grade, you would read the other version if that allows. I like identifying the um, image and seeing what's going on here. Well, to to me, it looks like there's this kid, this guy, teenager, actually playing some video games on his computer, looking at that on the floor, hanging out, chilling. Looks like his name is Noah Baxish, 15. He's playing Dust, an Elysian game. Very cool. So starting from here, we're going to begin our annotations. And let's follow along reading together. Chicago. Roman Rivera is crazy about video games. As a kid, his parents put limits on how many hours he could play. He avoided the limits by secretly playing his Game Boy after bedtime. Now, at age 21, he plays video games up to four hours a day. Rivera was an A student in high school. Today, he is studying at the University of Chicago one of the country's best universities. He thinks playing video games helped him get there. Rivera said video games made him interested in more things. They have also made him smarter, he said. Without a doubt, they have benefited me, he said. All right, we're gonna pause here and we're gonna annotate this section of the text. Okay, so I like to write down some information as you should, like some key details, because overall I wanna come up with a central idea for this entire text. And I would like to write the central idea somewhere at the bottom. How can we get our central idea? Well, based on what we have here for our annotation expectations, it's a summary of our key details. So going back, key details, for those of us who know, like seventh and eighth graders especially, are uh, key findings within the text. So we're just gonna focus on these sections here. When I think about a key detail, I'm like, all right, well, what are like the most important items within these four little paragraphs? These, this like small section. See, I know Roman Rivera is like a key guy and it says, well, he used to sneak playing video games. Parents said no, but now that he's older, he's at a good university and he's like, well, video games probably made him smarter and benefited him. So he was able to go to a good college. I don't know how that all plays a role in anything, but from what he said, um, this doesn't seem like the author, but the person who is Roman is stating the benefit of playing video games 
He says they've made him smarter. Maybe like video games equals smarty pants. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe I can uh, do that there. We can fix it in. That should work. Okay. All right. Since you have a good grasp of what to do, you can do this as a table group or maybe in pairs. If your teacher wants you to, then you can do it all together. It's a relatively short text. So we're going to do this, read the text from all of our key details. We're gonna create a summary and write our central idea right here, this whole section. After that, we're going to answer our question. So how does the author support the claim that children can benefit from playing video games? Well, some people use our to seek, such as our topic sentence. And um, I'll go ahead and write here at the bottom if my computer is not acting so funky. Well, so some people like to write the um, to seek such as topic sentence and evidence, and then elaborate on that evidence and concluding statement. So from there, a topic sentence is just like, um, like your, your, your central idea, like what are you trying to say? An example of a topic sentence here could be the author, or actually, video games have improved brain health. I guess you can say that, maybe after you read. Um, after many years of consistent game playing. That's an example. I'm not saying use my example. I'm saying that that is an example. Evidence. This is uh, maybe like one to two pieces of evidence from the text. So like direct evidence. Elaboration is you like explaining uh, that evidence. Yep. A concluding statement, I like to say, is like tying it all it all together. So it's basically like a restatement of the topic sentence, but in a different way. Okay. So this is what we will do. Continue with the reading and annotation. So finish up the annotations, read, annotate, determine central idea. After that, go right into this section and begin to write your to seek or if you're used to it in um, seventh or eighth grade classroom, you have your claim, which is just like your topic sentence. And you have your evidence and analysis, which is just like your evidence um, elaboration and concluding statement we have enough time, you're going to use an exemplar to grade your partner's paper, which will be really fun. And you get to assign them a grade. A teacher's not going to assign you a grade for this. You are going to assign your partner a grade. Okay. If you have any questions, please ask your teacher because they will further review this with you. Other than that, good luck with your annotations. Um, good luck in determining the author's point of view and what the big, which big idea the author is trying to teach you. Okay, awesome. Bye guys, good luck.